Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm a sucker for cool media tools, especially those that work within the web browser, nothing to install. So when Uncle John emailed me today with this, I don't know if you're able to tell, he's got some text here at the top, and he's got some images down below, and I looked at those images, and I'm like, wait a minute, are, are those words? Indeed they are. He used a, a free tool called the Texturizer, and thank you Uncle John for pasting the link in there at chat. See, I've got chat integrated with the video experience at live.perillo.com. Uh, so that's where you got to go. We'll also be uh, putting a link to texturizer.watfettle.com in the uh, show notes uh, at uh, chris.perillo.com. He just attached these examples of what he did, and I'm actually going to run through the demonstration right now. Uh, you just simply first give it a link to an image. It could be a, a JPEG, PNG, GIF, or XPM file if anybody uses XPMs anymore. And it has to be uh, less than 128K. Uh, you give it the text that you want to... Uh, make this image out of. Uh, you give it how many strokes, how many uh, strokes or number of, of lines or text to write. Uh, you also give it a threshold and there's some default set for you. And then the width and the height of the output. Now the output is where I think it's interesting. So I'm using the uh, classic Locker Gnome logo, the logo that used to be sitting in front of uh, this laptop. I'll press texturize and in a couple seconds I'll see it created right before my very eyes. And I'll, let me zoom in and show you these are actually words and you may be able to make them out from from where you're at geek perillo chris i use those three words to create the uh locker gnome logo now as i said this is where it gets interesting you may try to right click and save that image but you won't be able to let me uh view source and show you right up here this is, look at this this is the source of the page looks like a whole bunch of numbers whole bunch of numbers. Is it CSS? No. It's SVG. Scalable Vector Graphics. So you could take that SVG and you can put it anywhere. I mean, imagine if you were trying to put together a newsletter or something uh, like a, you know, a brochure or a logo for a program, but you didn't just want to use a plain old logo. You really wanted to make it all fancy and artistic. You might consider using the texturizer. Uh, he, uh, Uncle John, did, uh, t he texturized, uh, I'm sorry, it's so bright. There we go. Uh, he texturized my, my real face, that's a photo of myself apparently, and then the, uh, the Chris Cool logo, the one that is sitting in front of the laptop. And by the way, some people have been noting in YouTube that they like the logo in front, they don't like it. I actually just put on order, I created a laptop skin, and when that does come in, I'll place it on the laptop and then tell you how I did it. So I am working on a bigger, or there is a bigger version of that logo coming real soon, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. But if you want to texturize the image, much like I did, you need to go to texturizer.whatfettle.com. Thanks again, Uncle John, for passing this along. That's a lot of fun. Keep that in mind the next time you need to create something much like this or create uh, some kind of SVG file. If you even knew what an SVG file is. And if your browser doesn't support SVG, it's time to upgrade. My email address, in case you want to send me anything cool, is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to recommend any resource. Of course, you're also welcome to post your favorite resources at geeks.perillo.com. You can get a free profile there, post a blog, participate in the forum, ask questions, give answers. doesn't matter what you do there, as long as you're a geek. Well, I guess it does matter. We do have you know, some kind of limitation of what we do and do not accept. But you are also welcome to stop by our chat room, which is typically Talking Tech, and it's live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in conjunction with this live video feed, so you can stop by and be a part of this. What you're seeing right now, only it would be happening live, and even if I'm not here, these people certainly are, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.